On Tuesday, May 13th, you'll have a rare opportunity to see a lumbar spine microdiscectomy live from St. Mary's Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin. An interdisciplinary team of surgeons from the Dean and St. Mary's Spine Center will perform and narrate this event, providing expert neurosurgical and orthopedic insight to the microdiscectomy procedure. It's a surgery that in general involves a very small incision, utilization of the operating microscope to identify the nerve and the disc herniation to subsequently extract the herniation and decompress that nerve. It takes about an hour to do. It typically can be done either as an outpatient or an overnight setting. And patients in general do fairly well because of the small incision and the use of the microscope. The condition is typically caused uh, by either a more progressive degenerative arthritis of the spine uh, or another segment of patients have a more acute process. A normal disc has a tough ligament around the outside, it's termed the annulus, and then a core that's softer. Uh, it's the consistency of a cooked crab or lobster meat and in the more acute situations some of that softer material can break through the containing ligament and compress a nerve within the spinal canal. Fundamentally if you think of the uh, the disc as a, a pillow um, with a casing and a stuffing. Uh, there's a tear in that casing of the disc and some of the stuffing has escaped outside of the casing. Uh, the microdiscectomy is designed to remove the portion of that stuffing that has escaped the casing while trying to leave the majority of the stuffing that's still within the casing intact. Uh, it may or may not be associated with back pain. A lot of people think of um, by virtue of the fact that a, a microdiscectomy operation is on the back, people often assume that it's because of back pain, but we actually do this operation primarily for people that have leg pain. There are a, a few patients that are going to have uh, a weakness uh, of, a, of a, an extremity, in this case um, a leg or a foot, that prompts um, the operation to create more space or to relieve the pressure on the nerve that goes to that muscle group. Following surgery, patients can find relief from pain almost instantaneously. For the most part, uh, the patient's leg pain is uh, gone uh, as they wake up from anesthesia, which is typically very pleasing to them <laughs> when that occurs. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the request information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. Join us on Tuesday, May 13th at 4 p.m. Central Time for a lumbar spine microdiscectomy from St. Mary's Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin.